For me, honestly, the first thing that comes up, you know, if, if I was being really candid, which I am, the first thing that comes up is the the social scene, like the club. Um, it was a club long before, you know, attending any rallies or like intentional spaces where um, where queer people are being centered. Uh, that was the club first for me personally. Hairspray? Hairspray, club hairspray. <laughs> So um, that, that was like my first kind of, that hits, you know, this question and where was that kind of space um, or environment that you encountered um, LGBTQ people the most often was that same space. And, and, and so I think I came out around like 17 or 16 or 17 um, and as soon as I turned 18, I was able to go to a club. And so before then I hadn't had much interaction or um, involvement with other queer people at all. Um, and if so, maybe it was kind of covertly and you know, people not really comfortable with being out. And so, yeah, I didn't have a huge social scene growing up and organization wise, it wasn't until really my mid twenties in like my, my late twenties that I started um, being uh, kind of engaged with organizations like um, like knowing Michael Harney and like the work that he would do around town. And so like, I think that was like maybe even the first uh, openly gay man that, that I crossed paths with professionally and personally. <laughs> and so uh, Michael's work with um, WinCap here in Asheville, the Western North Carolina AIDS Project, was the first organization I think that I encountered that centered, um, you know, not just all people, but specifically a lot of LGBTQ people. Um, and that must have been around like 22 or so. And then here recently, I joined um, a leadership development cohort called Song Southerners on the Ground. And song really opened me up to um, my LGBTQ community. Um, I don't think that I had ever uh, had um, a close enough engagement with a trans person up until maybe a year, a year and a half ago. So at like 28 or 29 is, is around the time that I had first gone to a gathering that centered um i was part of this group called the lord's work mm -hmm. and so song had this leadership development cohort called the lord's work the lord is an audrey lord um and and work was spelled like w-e-r-q or something <laughs> um and so the 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 purpose of that convening or that cohort was to kind of just get you more comfortable with being around other LGBTQ people, uh, but specifically um, of color. So all my Latinx LGBTQ people, all my black LGBTQ people are part of this, um, this cohort. And it must be like 35 of us who we go down to Atlanta and we get together and we just start getting to know each other. And that's where I was kind of like, my mind was blown and shattered at how diverse uh, those those letters really are to LGBTQ. I had never been in a room with with all of the letters. <laughs> <laughs>